In this tutorial we're going to see how to integrate e to the x. Uh, we've got the set formula here that if we integrate e to the kx we get 1 over k e to the kx. I'm going to show you where that um, formula comes from and I'm going to give you three examples of how to actually do it. Before we get to some examples, let's um, show why when we integrate e to the kx, we get 1 over k e to the kx plus c. So I'm going to start off by saying let i equal the integral that we want, um, which is the integral of e to the kx dx. So I'm going to start off by saying let u equal kx. Now, if we differentiate that with respect to x, we get du dx equals k. Now, we're going to use this, and we're effectively going to say um, dx is the same as du over k. And then we're also going to replace this kx here with this u um, here. So this is going to be replaced with du over k, because we're just going to cross multiply here. And this is going to be replaced with u. So now we've got this here, and this k, I could leave it like this, but to make it a little bit simpler, um, just because it's a constant, I'm going to take it outside the integral. And we know that if we integrate e to the u, we get e to the u, because if we differentiate e to the u, we get e to the u. So now we've got i equals 1 over k e to the u plus c. But we know that u equals kx, so we can just replace that u with kx, and we've got i equals 1 over k e to the kx plus c, which is what we were trying to get in the first place. So let's look at some examples. So in this one here, k is effectively minus 2. So the result is going to be minus 1 over 2 e to the minus 2x plus c. So we've always got the plus c. The e and its power are always there. The only difference is, is we're going to multiple, uh, multiply by the reciprocal of the minus 2. OK, let's look at another example. Now, this isn't in quite the right form, but we need to change it into this form. And fortunately, e to the 5x divided by e to the 2x is e to the 3x. So it's going to go to e to the 3x plus c, but we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of 3, which is a third, so we get a third e to the 3x plus c. Now for our last example, so we've got this square root, which basically means everything there is to the power of a half, so we end up with um, e to the 3 over 2x dx. So we're going to get the e to the 3 over 2x plus c, but we've got to multiply by the reciprocal of 3 over 2, which is 2 over 3. So we get 2 over 3 and e to the 3 over 2x plus c. In the description below, you can find a link to a worksheet that has questions that you can try on your own. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay in infield with Winfield.